Thank you, uh, Mr. Chairman. Uh, since we're talking about nursing homes, I think I ought to start by saying thank you to every American who has supported our seniors during this pandemic because our nursing homes house the most vulnerable that we have in our society. And this has been a very challenging year for these seniors, but it's also been a very challenging year for our healthcare workers. Uh, before I get to my first question for Ms., uh, Mr. Dickin and Ms. Moulton, let me uh, lead in with this. Uh, last year, the Department of Justice lost an investigation into four states' COVID-19 response in nursing homes. Uh, these states were Michigan, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. They uh, pressured nursing homes to admit residents who may have been infected, uh, have been infected with COVID-19. Uh, 19. The CDC only recommended that hospitals discharge patients with COVID-19 diagnosis only to nursing homes that are capable of implementing all recommended infection control procedures. Uh, state officials who uh, pressured nursing homes to admit untested or contagious uh, COVID uh, patients from hospitals likely increased the case rate and fatality risk for these residents. Uh, meanwhile, state officials in other parts of the country, uh, Florida is just one example, follow DC CDC uh, guidance often with better results. So to Mr. Dickin and Ms. Moten, uh, how important is it for the uh, Department of Justice to continue investigating these four states' violation of civil rights of the nursing home residents and the failed duty to care? Yeah, thank you, Senator Grassley, and appreciate your long-term leadership on these issues. Um, uh, certainly, um, what what we um, we are aware that there are both federal and state level investigations ongoing. Uh, we, we GAO continues to examine uh, kind of what the experience has been across all states, as this has affected all states. Um, and just two key points on that. One is that is one reason. YGO has recommended that there needs to be more complete information uh, that was only voluntarily reported at the federal level on cases and deaths in nursing homes prior to May so that we can learn some of the lessons that occurred during very uncertain and challenging times early in the pandemic. And secondly, that we have talked to, uh, our ongoing work is looking at the experience of a range of states across the country and hearing common concerns about how best to protect protective equipment, uh, dealing with uh, protecting hospitals and nursing homes. These were challenges that have been faced throughout the country. I wanna echo the sentiments of Mr. Dick and I think that it's important that we continue to investigate uh, these four states in particular and, and states across the country as we're able to take those stumbling blocks and make them stepping stones. You know, the reality is that uh, we, we could have done a better job in a lot of these places. And while oftentimes our care communities mirrored what was going on in other communities, um, our hospitals were able to, to handle infection control. And so I think it's uh, we need to uh, look into this so that we're able to uh, figure out what system breakdowns we had in those different states and better understand it so we don't repeat those same mistakes. Yeah, uh, both Republicans and Democrat senators have warned President Biden that he shouldn't terminate 56 U.S. attorneys, particularly those that have ongoing sensitive investigations. Uh, one uh, is Tony Bacon, uh, U.S. Attorney, Northern District, New York. Ms. Bacon uh, previously served as Justice Department's National Elder Justice Coordinator and who currently has jurisdiction over federal public corruption crimes in the state. The state of New York undercounted nursing home deaths by as much as 50% and state officials intentionally withheld data for uh, months. Uh, Ms. Bacon uh, is the obvious choice to continue a fair and unbiased investigation into possible violations of civil liberties of the elderly and public corruption. So to the same two people, Ms. Dickin and, or Mr. Dickin and Ms. Moulton, do you believe U.S. Department of Justice must have a fair, unbiased, and experienced U.S. attorney in the Northern District of New York, such as Ms. Bacon? Um, I, when you get done answering, I'll have to say my time's up, but let, let's hear the answer. Yeah, thank you, Chair, uh, Senator Grassley. And, and 
Um, I cannot speak to the specific situation there, but certainly know that there are importance of having fair and complete investigations at federal and state levels. Um, but I, I couldn't, we have not, I have not looked at that specific uh, situation. Ms. Mullen. Again, I echo uh, Mr. Dickens, uh, his position on that. You know, I think that an unbiased party is definitely going to be needed to, to make the proper recommendations and to do a full investigation, but I can't even speak to, uh, to, the, to the person you're asking about. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.